Hey guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and uh, we're actually in the garage today uh, because uh, I did put I put a post uh, recently on Facebook uh, talking about a build that I'm doing for RC, which is you know how I got into building the Cricut. So <clears throat> lately, I've been concentrating a lot on uh, on, on some RC stuff, um, and probably because it's something that my dad and I like to do. Uh, so. Uh, been concentrating a little bit on that, but we are getting back on the cricket as you'll see in, in that last video. Uh, but let me turn the camera around and I will show you what we're working on uh, today. All right, guys, so uh, welcome back and uh, from the intro. And yeah, I've been concentrating quite a bit on RC stuff. Uh, this was a custom built, um, 3D printed, CNC cut, uh, everything uh, on the uh, out here in the garage. I have a little CNC machine down here and uh, just added a new 3D printer to my whole repertoire here now. Uh, so we have a, an old Creality uh, uh, Ender 3 that has been extended to a 400 by 400 bed. Uh, so the Ender Extender Kit, pretty nice, works out really nice. Uh, we do have a Creality K1 Max, a uh, very nice printer. Uh, do run into some issues once in a while, but for the most part, works pretty well. And then we just added this little guy. Uh, it's found it on Amazon. Uh, it's the uh, Flash Forge Adventurer 5M. Uh, neat little printer here uh, for only $299. So, but it is only a 250 or 220 by 200, I believe it was on height. So 220 by 220 by 200. Uh, still not a bad size, and it's pretty quick. And right now we're printing parts, as you can see, for the project that I brought up on the channel, or on the on Facebook. So this is a uh, B17. It's all B, it's it's all 3D printed. We will have some carbon fiber uh, parts throughout. Uh, I was going to try to get it done without having to do any uh, painting. Uh, however, may have to do a little bit of painting on it. Uh, especially because there are some some minor imperfections in the print, so we may have to go and do some light sanding, uh, paint it maybe with the chrome, because uh, I really don't want to do a chrome paint job on it. Um, but this is uh, from Aero, was it three D three D Aero Ventures? Uh, Eric, uh, great guy. Um, he he puts these files out for free, guys. So if you get a chance, donate to his channel if you're going to be using any of his files. Great, great opportunities here. Um, beautiful work. I mean, this is just a beautiful airplane. And I am doing the G model, which is going to have the little gun turret up here in the front. Uh, then it has the two gun turrets on the side. It's an 83-inch wingspan, guys. Um, and I'm using all PLA. And uh, I will put, um, at some point, when I get all the files of all the prints, uh, the time lapses, I'll get those all loaded on here. But uh, essentially, I'm doing it all out of PLA. It's the uh, Space Gray uh, PLA Overture. Um, trying to keep it really light, because I don't want to use the... Uh, uh, I haven't, haven't really played around with the lightweight PLA yet, so just using this regular PLA. Seems to be uh, fairly light so far. Uh, keeping it single wall and uh, at 0.21, I believe, is the wall thickness uh, because his files do have double walls here. Uh, so it is a uh, structured inside. I don't know if you can see in the camera there the, uh, the structure from the infill. Uh, and I'm only doing 3% infill and single wall 0.21, I believe it is. I have to double check my files. Uh, so very thin, very light. I mean, it does not weigh much at all. Um, we haven't started getting to the tail where it start, will start to get a little bit heavier back here because you're gonna have the, this is the start of the uh, vertical stab here. Um, and that's what's uh, right on this one here, the start of that vertical stab. Uh, and those are just uh, tree supports to hold those pieces. But what I like about his designs here is he adds this uh, tray system inside here that adds a nice bit of structure to that internals. Uh, that's where the carbon fiber tube goes through, the main spar, and then the secondary spar. Um, and on my little guy over here, the new one, already putting them to work, trying to print out parts for the B-17. So this is the servo trays 
Uh, and it also does still do the structure there. I'm um, not sure if you'll be able to see it. There you go. And that's uh, just some infill on that uh, or support material to help hold that area up. This was the first uh, attempt at that one uh, on one of my other printers and did not come out very well. So, I mean, it printed well down here and then all of a sudden went wacky. So, who knows? So we're reprinting that before we glue this section on. Uh, so we'll get that piece in there and then we'll slide this in and uh, get that all nice and neat. Uh, we, since, since I am having some issues here around this edge here uh, on both sides where they join, um, and not all of them are having this issue, uh, but a few of them are. And uh, so we're gonna have to do some filler and uh, try to smooth that out a little bit. Not too much though, because that is supposed to be a panel line here. So we'll have to play around and uh, see how well we can get it. Uh, but I think I will be painting it in a uh, the chrome, uh, some just light dustings in certain areas. And then other areas, I'm gonna sand that dull to make it look like patchwork uh, on the aircraft. And hey, while we're at it, this piece finished. So as you can see, there has been a little bit of stringing up there, uh, but for the most part, it's in good shape. We're gonna let that cool for a little bit in the chamber here uh, before we pull that out, because uh, we don't want the bottom to warp at all. Uh, so we'll let that cure for just a little bit, let that dry or, or cool down before we get started. Uh, this is just some parts that I'm printing out for work, because uh, my printers work really, really well. Got them tuned in pretty good. This is in PTEG, this is for unmanned aircraft. It's a servo mount uh, from uh, Titan Dynamics. So we have been doing quite a bit of work out here, um, but uh, we will be getting back out to the cricket as well. But uh, I did wanna just mention from the RC world here, I will be going back and uh, maybe start doing some, uh, some iMac. Um, I know this isn't gonna be a Competition winning airplane here, this uh, the old Midwest Giles. Uh, with a, It's got a 35cc DLE. Runs pretty good. It flies really nice. Um, and uh, But it is heavy, so of course not a competition airplane. But I'm just going to fly in basic for fun, because that was the last um, that I really ever got into was basic with my bigger airplanes. I never really progressed much further than that. Uh, so we're going to go back. And uh, we're going to maybe uh, go to a couple competitions for some fun uh, and see how it goes. Um, so, hey, yeah, guys, not sitting idle, uh, but uh, definitely uh, staying busy. And uh, we're going to start getting busy on that cricket as well. Uh, so next thing, uh, this weekend, we're going to be going out to the uh, airport. And uh, the plan is on the cricket to finish up the elevator, get that completed, uh, and uh, then move on to... Uh, doing the um, the fairing around the vertical stab, get that all done so we can sand and paint that at the same time as the elevator. So there you have it, guys. Staying busy. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on this if you're interested. Just put it down in the comments. Uh, I'll also put a link to uh, 3D Aero Ventures where you can download this file as well as many others, including a uh, Super Chipmunk. It is based off of the Goldberg kit, which is this one up here. Uh, this particular print was one of my first attempts. Way too heavy. Not going to fly, uh, but um, thought it looked pretty cool. So, anyways, guys, keep building, keep flying. I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.